Now here in this video, we are going to see how we can configure the push app notifications to the applications we have created. So already we have created a web based application and a mobile based application. We are going to configure push app. Now why we are configuring push app? As we know, it's very essential for any web based or particular mobile based users or any of the employees you have. What it does, whenever you have any particular changes or any particular updates to be provided to all the users and customers, this will notify or this will push a notification to the user so that they will be able to get access to the all the notification or the changes or the information you want to provide them. So this is how we generally use this put app notification and nowadays you find this application notifications all the time on your mobile applications as your web applications. So here we are going to see how we are going to configure this push app notifications into our portal. So for push app notification, it can be configured both on your web applications or your mobile applications. So for creating your push app notifications, what we need to do is very first we need to create a notification hub and I'm going to search for it. So you can see here you have a notification hub. Go into notification hub where is the group of actually it will create a hub from where it will distribute or you know broadcast your notifications to different devices you have connected. So for that I'm just going to create one of my notification hub here. And I'll define the name it as notification hub one. And the namespace we can define notification. hub for mobiles okay same way your uh, location where you need to connect it your um, resource group so I'll be creating it for mobile application so I'll be adding it to your first mobile application resource group here and then we can also create this particular application uh, sorry notification hub which I'll be using for pushing your notification for any of your applications I'll show you this uh, push applications of your notification hub into your application which we have created that is my mobile application. So let's wait till it's getting deployed. So here I'll refresh it. We have deployed one notification hub. This is a notification hub we have right and this notification hub I'll be using for pushing my notifications. Okay, so you can also test your notifications from here if you want, like on which particular platform you require. You can define the, uh, you know, payload and push notification test message and you can send it to your platform, whichever you require here. Raw. Then send. So it will send you the test notification error if you have connected any you know devices over here so as of now we haven't connected any device or any you know clients over here so very first what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into my application and into our application we can move and uh, we need to search for push option here so you can find this is a push option click on it and here you need to connect it to your notification hub so you can see here it is showing you collect to notification hub to start using your application push service I'll connect it to my uh, new notification hub which we have created so it's connecting your web application to your notification hub and this is what it is created you can configure your push notification service now on for which particular platform you want to send this particular push notification so I'm going to use it for my Windows phone and you can upload a certificate for sending a push notification so if you have any certificate so right now I have downloaded one certificate here so VPN certificate enter the password for it and send it okay so we require PFX certificates here so we need to create the certificate as of now uh, we are not going to create it so I'm just going to enter a package SID or we can directly create it for Google whichever you require so you need to provide an API key which you have for your applications so right now we haven't created any API key let us move and and create your API keys here 
authentication on for our user which user authentication do we require we want to require it for our Microsoft I'll define the client side machine one client secret I'm going to define one to three okay all the scope where it will be able to access everything here okay so we have configured it right and once you have configured it you need to save this go for push notification so I'll move into your push notification service again I'll go for WNS well as your MPNS and I do have one certificate uh, that is my PFX certificate now which I was created earlier so this is the PFX certificate I'll define it I'll define the password of this particular PFX certificate and click on OK so you can see it is successfully updated so this is how generally you can update your um, certificates and you can deploy this notifications to your users which you have so in such a way you can push or uh, you can enable this uh, unauthenticated push notifications to everyone as well if like you want to define the uh, certificate thumbnail you can also define this certificate thumbnail into your application so that it will push notification for certain users so this is how generally we can configure our push notifications for our users and the applications right so if I want for other users I can also create for other particular systems I do have right so this will be helpful for your application how you can push notifications to a particular user to inform for any particular updates or any credentials so into our next video I'm coming up with web jobs we are creating a jobs for this applications.